see by my breath it's still cold out we moved Rocky outside of his sleeping area got us a couple pork buds on the smoker here just threw them on here just a minute ago gonna try my hand at smoking some butt <laughs> but we got some things to do today we'll try to get out to the shop and I don't know, we might just be smoking today. So, we'll catch you guys later. Now, a little bit about my smoker. It's not a Traeger or anything, but it is a pellet smoker. I know that's cheating in the smoking world. But <clears throat> we, uh, it's easy enough that if the wife wants to smoke something while I'm out on the road, she can do it. Uh, it's a Z grill, or Z grills, I should say name of the company. It's about half the cost of a Traeger, Traeger, however you permit, pronounce it. Uh, my wife's had stuff cooked on a Traeger before, and she says this one cooks just as good, if not just a little bit better. Uh, I've done, started off with steaks on it, hamburgers. Uh, I don't remember what all exactly done. I know I've done a brisket on it. I know I've done a lot of hamburgers on it. I, I like the hamburgers, how they come out on it. Uh, the last last batch of hamburgers I actually had, they actually swelled out bigger than what they were when I put on it. So, so far I like that thing. Uh, I've already done a brisket on it. Like I said, steaks, uh, did a roast, chicken. Still working on my chicken abilities, but that's just a little bit about my smoker. I like playing with that thing. It's simple to use. Uh, that's about it on it. Still learning how to do different recipes and stuff, but it all comes with the, with experimentation, I guess. So we're doing these pork butts for uh, blue and gold tomorrow night for Cub Scouts. 50 pounds worth, I believe. I know it's kind of caught me off guard when I went to go pick them up and put them in one arm so we gotta go up I gotta get some more beard butter my beard butters I ran out and my beard's a little dried out and matted up and so I gotta go see my beard man up there at Honky Kong Beard Company he he supplies my butter hoping to pick him up put his name on the side of the race car There we go. We're gonna try to get this day going. I gotta I wanna get back, try to get some work done on our race car, but we'll catch you later. Oh man, it's been a couple hours. These bad boys right here, you got some the girls. They're smelling grand, they're getting pretty close to where they need to be. So we're getting there with them. Let's do my beard. Yeah, it's pitiful looking man. But we're getting there. We're gonna get these things wrapped up and see where we're at. Well, we're done playing with the smoker for a moment. Uh, we're going to do some work. Like I said in the last video, we got to put the deck plates and pop them in place. But first, we need to kind of go through and use these to straighten up the old panels that are already existing. Uh, some, of the, some of the side on it is wrinkled up a little bit from abuse through the years so we're going to straighten them out so these the ones I made fit a little better you may notice like this front panel here it's kind of Kind of bent down a little bit, throwing stuff on there. Like I said, it's 
car becomes kind of a catch-all when I'm not using it. <laughs> but I'll show you. This is one of the panels I made. It flexes a little bit, but it takes a whole lot more to move it than it does these other panels because I've thickened it up by folding it over. And I didn't, you know, whoever did this panel before, they didn't do that with when they did these. So we're going to get this pop riveted on there and try to get as much as we can today. Okay. We got. The back section of the, the pastor side riveted on here and I just want to show you last video I believe it was I was talking about saving the heads of the pop rivets when you drill them out to to break them loose like I said when you when you drill them out you basically form a washer kind of looks like this well it does look like that depending on what color you got pretty much you they put the pop rivet there. You put them on the back side there. And I did every one like that. It just kind of helps give it a little extra support to help keep the pop rivet from pulling through. But, yeah, that's, that's just an example of what to use those for. Well, we're going to show you something here. The way I did my deck panels versus the way... The old section is. Uh, let me reach up underneath here. I'm pushing up on this middle section. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's really, really flimsy versus right here. It's a little more difficult to move up and down, so that's just something that I learned off of my old modified. You know, everything was the metal was seamed over, doubled over, however you want to put it, and everything seemed a lot more stout. And this car seemed like they just bent everything at ninety and left it at that, and it's got a lot of creaks and rattles and everything else when you're pulling up to the track. But we're going to work on getting the other side on and go from there well we've got the doors closed up we got both sides done with the deck panels just a few little minor detailed things to wrap up i guess i don't really think there's much to do with them now we do got to drill holes along the sides of them uh that's where the body's going to bolt on to the side panels but you know we we got them pop rooted on there, up underneath. This side was kind of different because it pop rivets on the top here for the most part. And the front, you got to go up underneath. But, well, this side's a lot more sturdier, the driver's side. Last year when I was getting in and out of the car, I pretty well caved the whole side in every time I got in and out. And... This already feels a lot more sturdy and fresh metal. I think it's a little bit thicker, actually. But either way, we got got the deck done. Uh, next step would be doing the body. You know, like I said, the side panels for the body. Uh, I do have to put the carburetor on so I can figure out where the center is for doing the hood. But we'll get we'll get there when we get there. But overall, we we made a little bit of progress. Uh, short week of trucking this week. I don't know if I'll shoot any videos out on the road. Maybe if something interesting happens, we might get, get a video. But other than that, I think we're going to wrap it up. Head into the house. Got a birthday party to go to today. And uh, got to, I guess we'll have to start shredding up the pork for the blue and gold banquet we got tomorrow afternoon. And, Hopefully everybody likes it. First time doing a pork butt on my little smoker, but yeah, we did a little sample and it tasted all right. So you guys take it easy. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you make it to the point that 
according to the statistics, most people aren't making it past two or three minutes. I guess, I guess I need to amp it up, put a little more razzle dazzle in it. Okay, explosions, you know, do something cool, I guess. But we'll catch you guys later.